What is up and welcome everybody to a very special, super special VIP Royale. We've got a uh, celebrity golfer with us today, none other than Lee Westwood, who, uh, who I think we were going to play uh, a few months ago. Um, yeah. But, he, but he's here now. So Late for my tea time, wasn't I? There, there you go. But, but you made it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And actually, I think that I like the venue better. Yeah, where, me too. Where, yeah, where we yeah, are. Yeah. So Got we are... COVID uh, to thank for that, haven't we? Well, you know, <laughs> that's, that's a whole other topic, yeah. I think. So we are playing live right now from uh, PJ National in, uh, were we in Palm Spring? No, Palm Beach. Palm Beach. That's the other side of the country. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, and, and, and I live in Florida too. That's the weird part. From Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, you're going to be playing in the uh, Honda Classic this week. And we yeah. thought we'd uh, squeeze in a quick little game of uh, VIP yeah. Royale with you. Okay. Sounds good. So you've been practicing. I've had a little bit of practice. Yes. That's right. And we've shown you the leaderboard. You have. And, and I think you, your, your goal is to beat who? Amanda. Oh, Nico, actually. I'd like to beat Nico as a, a fellow Brit. You know, I'd like to... He, he must have fast fingers being a drummer. He, he, he must. And, and are you an Iron Maiden fan? I like it. I like a bit of Iron Maiden every now and again. I, I wouldn't am, say uh, I'm Victor Hovland level, but um, <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it every now and again. Excellent. So uh, before we get started, in about eight minutes, we, we had asked the community about some questions. We said you were going to be here okay. and... And we asked them to post some questions. We got literally hundreds. Yeah. And I boiled it down to about 10, and hopefully we'll get through about four. Starting with a quote that you once said, that uh, you're a golfer and not an athlete. Right. And uh, the question is, with all the uh, the new generation of, of, of golfers who are all bigger and stronger, who do you think is the best athlete on the tour? Well, I'll just start by clarifying that that was asked about 25 years ago when uh, when, when golfers didn't quite, fre they were more likely to fre frequent a, a bar than a gym. And, uh, you know, since the since Tiger came on the scene, he's kind of turned golfers into athletes. So uh, we, are, we are like to join in, but he's, he's a great athlete. I mean, you know, there's some really strong guys out there. Brooks Koepka is obviously uh, one of the ones that comes to mind, you know, very strong. Um, Rory's got himself in great shape, you know, on the European tour. Rafa Cabrera Bello doesn't mind getting his abs out every now and again and, uh, and flashing his stomach. So, yeah, there's some guys in good shape. Obviously, there's still, uh, I mean, the, my ideal shape of a man's got to be Harry Higgs after seeing him at the waist management pull his shirt up. Um, you know, that's just like the perfect male form, isn't it? So, uh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, then, then uh, along that line, who was your favorite golfer when you were growing up? Um, well, I, I grew up in the in the 80s, so you know there's so many great European golfers. You know, Faldo Balasteros, um, Lyle Woosnam, Isabel Langer, people like that. I mean, you couldn't fail not to love Seve Balasteros. You know, every time he came in, his co you know, got in his company, it, it, you know, he, he, such a presence. And he didn't have to work out. No, but he was a <laughs> he was a fit, strong, obviously good-looking fellow. And uh, um, no, you're right, he probably didn't have to. I bet he did, but. Uh, um, he didn't yeah. brag about it. He didn't then. brag about it, no. There you go. So then, who do you think is uh, the greatest British golfer who's never won a major? Am I allowed to say me? You're allowed to. Well, there you go then. <laughs> Short and sweet, wasn't it? That I can't... guess Monty would have something to say about that, wouldn't he? But uh, he's counting the senior majors now, so. Well, you know what's funny is uh, that came from one of the users, and I'm pretty sure that was meant to, I think that was meant to get exactly the response. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that you just gave it. Mission accomplished. Um... So what made you, what made you decide to go into golf or better, better yet, it's like at, at what point did you realize that you were going to be a professional golfer? Like what, what happened? Yeah, so I, I played, I started playing golf really late, you know, I was nearly 13 when I took, took oh, my wow. first swing in anger at a golf ball and, uh, you know, picked it up pretty quickly after that. Um, you know, I was playing for England at 16 and, you know, shot level par, you know, after about a year, year and a half, oh, wow. um, you know, became county champion in Nottinghamshire. So it was a pretty quick, uh, um, transition from starting to it was six years between starting and uh, and being on the European tour. So that's a that's a I hate, pretty hearing, I hate hearing that rapid <laughs> rapid rise. So uh, um, yeah, it, it just kind of came naturally. But a lot of a lot of hard work. You know, once add. you once if you've got a little bit of talent, you've got to work hard at it to to get anything out of anything. I'm pretty sure in my first six years I went backwards. <laughs> I think after six years I was worse than where That's what I say to my dad. I say to my dad, you know, you took me to every golf lesson I had. You know, he was my taxi driver. And, yeah. uh, at, you know, I, at 19 I was playing on tour and he was still off 21 handicap or something like that. I said, you listened to it all. Where did it all go wrong for you? So then, so then the other question is, um, you know, if it wasn't for golf, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, I'd, be, I'd be poorer. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just love sports. So I, I would just love to have been involved in sports somehow. Right. 
So, um, what is your number one Ryder Cup memory? Uh, I think the greatest day has to be the last day in Chicago, uh, Medina, when we came back from four points behind, and uh, you know, just everything seemed to go right. I've said it before. You know, I watch it on video, and even though I know we win, I still can't believe it. <laughs> it's uh, everything just fell into place and went right, and then you know, obviously came a Martin Keimer hole in his. Uh, put on the last screen everybody stood around there and Elazabal being there and kind of doing it for Seve was just an yeah. unbelievable day's golf. So um, who's the funniest uh, tour professional that you've ever played with? There's some funny guys out there you know I like I like Henrik Stenson's company he's very dry very funny um, you know some of the newer guys on the PJ Tour Harry Higgs is very funny enjoy his company um, you know most of the guys like are laughing at it's a stressful job so you know some people like to you let the hair down out there. Are, are they polite or do they try to get you like like nice nice joke at the no, no, exact moment yeah. you don't need to yeah, hear? Yeah, everybody's polite, yeah, most of the time. So if you had to play one round of golf, where would it be and who would you be with? Who would you play with? Well, I wouldn't want to beat myself up too much by playing, you know, I, I, Augusta's my favourite golf course, but if I had to play a last round of golf, it'd be Pebble Beach, I think, the views and... Um, just the, just the whole thing about the place is spectacular. And who would be with you? Um, who would you want to play with? Probably close family, you know. Certainly my son would be one of those, Sam. He's, uh, he's a pretty good golfer and uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't played Pebble yet, so. Is he, uh, is he following in your, in your footsteps? Um, I, I guess he'd like to, you know, he, lo he loves playing the game. Um, he, I'd like him to make his own foot, footsteps, his own footprints. I yeah. need to follow in mine. Well, you know. It's, it's not bad footsteps, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> it's his worst things. So what is different in preparing for a major versus the way this person wrote it? Just a regular professional golf tournament. So everybody treats it a little bit differently. You know, they turn up a bit earlier and, you know, maybe over-prepare at times. I think you probably should just try and treat it like any other tournament. I think, uh, you know, everybody surrounding the game, media and people like that, they all put major championships on a pedestal and... Uh, um, kind of hype them up um, whereas I guess if you go into them kind of low key um, it's probably a better way to go into them so um, with the last uh, what do we have we're starting the game in two minutes so I always got to remind that to myself because okay. uh, then I ask questions don't be late on the tee what's that yes don't be late well, on the tee. well I was going to start with or without us I mean that's that's <laughs> the, the reality of it but the question I would ask is um, if you're going to play just three clubs right. what three clubs do you bring um, well you've got to take Three wood, I guess. Um, three wood. Um, is it is it the putter one of them? Is it three uh, clubs and a putter? Let's say three clubs besides a putter. That's kind okay, of okay. This so, is a question somebody asked. I didn't think it through all. Okay, I, I I go with uh, three wood, eight iron, um, sand iron. Sand, all right. Maybe seven iron. Three wood, seven iron. Depends where you're playing. You I was going to say sand iron, so you were you were expecting to hit the sand. <laughs> I'm expecting to miss greens. That's right. <laughs> there you go. And uh, the best heckle you've ever heard on tour? Oh, I just, I've been called all sorts out there. Um, Anything you could share that's, you know, PG? Am I allowed to swear? I don't know. Uh, I'm, mildly swear? I'm going to make an exception and say, sure, why not? We've got uh, an adult audience. No, I better not. I got called something on a, on a green in uh, at the Ryder Cup in Hazeltine, and uh, it made me and my caddy laugh. It was so <laughs> childish. I hadn't, I hadn't been called it since about the age of seven. Well, uh, Ryder Cup, you just said it, right? Yeah. So there you go. So yeah, there, yeah, there, there, there's yeah, some, yeah. There, there was some extra, you know, incentive yeah. there to get under your skin. All right. Well, we're starting in about 45 seconds, and uh, I guess I'll ask one other question that I have left here. Very important. What is the world's fastest land animal? Cheetah. It is the cheetah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And I'm and, I, and I'm pretty sure that's just an airplane reference. But if not, <laughs> I mean, maybe somebody was just curious, and they're like, I don't I don't know the answer, and I can't Google it. So. So I'm going to ask Lee Westwood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you nervous? I wouldn't call myself the world's biggest gamer. So, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit un underprepared. But, you know, I'm pretty normally pretty good at picking things up. Well, you've been practicing, and Brian has, has assured us that, that he has not handicapped you in any way, as he has almost everyone who's come before. Okay. <laughs> so, right. Thanks, Brian. Go. Thanks for being nice to me. There we go. And then, and then you've had some time. So, you know, let's, okay. let's see how this goes. Right. Most nerve-wracking thing you'll do all week, right? Are you nervous? I am a little bit. Because I want to make sure the game actually works. You don't understand. I'm not nervous for you. I'm nervous about like the internet always, in this hotel. You can always blame the Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's we? right. All right. Right, and we're off. And we are off. 
using the Westy ball. Yeah, got my own special ball. Well, you know, we had a whole Lee Westwood week uh, back in, uh, what was it, December. So we were, we were all set, and I think we people played tournaments against your scores and all kinds of stuff, and the uh, only thing we didn't have was Lee Westwood. I'll try not to disappoint. All right, that was like good. Said, First shot, excellent. COVID got in the way. Wow. Got in the way of a few things, right, over the last few yeah, years? Yeah. I guess we shouldn't complain. Is it good being back? It's great to be back, yeah. Nice to see people with a smile on their face again. Say, the hotel is jumping. Oh, here we go. The dreaded sand shot. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know. Sit yeah. down. Let's see. Oh, oh just got, just stayed on. Look just stayed on. All right. So I know there's, uh, there's a bunch of people playing right now that I wanted to give some shout outs to. I know uh, Duff. Every time we do a VIP Royale, he said, I'm going to stream it, so say my name. Is that, so, is that Jason Duff now? It's not. It's Duff Duffy, one of our uh, players. From is that a reference Canada. to his golf shots? I guess so. Does he duff it all the time? He's very good. He's very good at the game. Is he? Yeah. i got to beat Duff, have I? That's going to be hard. Is he good? Really he's, good? He's, he's very good, Do I need yeah. to start holding them? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's already beaten you. He's already lapped you. But Has he? I, I don't know. How but I'm, but I'm guessing. Me? I'm guessing. I don't know. Because cause he's, cause he's good. But you're doing all right. Bad, you're, you're, so I think I think we gave you some good advice. We were like, you know, whatever you do, don't be slow, because that's that's how that's yeah, how. I, I literally can't play any quick in this. I'm like, Matt Jones fast right now. There you go. Well, listen, the the score to beat is I think uh, Nico, which is like about 20 or so percent. So it's not bad. I'm expecting pro golfers to do well compared to uh, others. Oh, don't put expectation on me. Oh no, not the bunker again. And you know this course, right? I mean, this is this yeah, is yeah. close house. This close is house. So I ought to be good at it, didn't I? This is actually how we met you because we, we got the course in the game and then kind of realized you were affiliated and then we're like hey can you give us a shout out on social for their 10th anniversary and then here can we I are another shot in struggle here, oh you're gonna do it yeah you can make 10 you can do it yeah. there you go real fast you almost oh, uh no. you just can't you can't even put any spin just gotta shoot go for it one more ah <sighs> all right now comes the moment of truth right so there we go. That was uh, that was three gripping minutes. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> I can breathe again. I stopped breathing there for three minutes. 64. Oh, wow. Is that good? It is very good. And I yelled it out before everyone at home knows it because we, uh, we have that access. Usually I wait and then I see and then I kind of pretend like I'm surprised. But holy wow, 64%. Not bad. I'm, that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely handshake Thank you. material. Excellent. Let's see. Well, you're definitely the top celebrity now. Definitely at the top of the well, celebrity leaderboard. That goes. I mean, I can't believe you're even calling me a celebrity. I'm, I'm flattered. Well, you know, more, more celebrity than me. So, so that's to be. Uh, so let's see, who, who are you ahead of now? We're looking at the leaderboard. You have beat Rob Riggle, Patrick Warburton, Joe Theismann, uh, Alice Cooper. Oh yes, I've beaten Alice. You beat Alice Cooper. You beat yes. Brett Bear, Nico McBrain. Good. Which, I mean, we owe him a we owe him a do over anyway. So I think I think now he's going to really be gunning for you. And of course, Peter Jacobson. Yes. And uh, Amanda and John O'Hurley. Oh, good. Good. So, Beating Amanda. So, so there you go. Well, and, uh, you know, and then we'll, we could set up rematches too. You know? Okay. So I think, I think all these yeah, people anytime. now are going to, now all these people are going to, you know, be, be looking to come back. And, I'll let them go away and practice if they go. can get to my level. Well, I am, I am thrilled with how well you did. <laughs> Thank we're, you. We're, we're grateful to have you here. My pleasure. I really enjoyed that. Uh, so uh, hopefully this is the first thing you have you will be winning this week. Hopefully, yeah. And there will be at least one other yeah, by the end nice, of the weekend. <laughs> yeah. I wish, it, I wish I could hit it as close as that. But the real way. <laughs> so how, how, how do you feel about the tournament? How do you feel about the course? You doing good? I played nine holes today. It's it, The greens were like Sunday greens. They were firm and really fast. And it was blowing sort of 15, 18 miles an hour. So oh. it, it played pretty tricky. This place is always tough. You know, okay. it, that, I think that's what drives people away from it <laughs> instead of drawing them in. I think it's a great golf course and uh, there's some really tough shots out there. Well, we wish you the most, the, the, the greatest luck. Thank you. We are hoping you win and then that way our, our you know, we could be like, you know, we, we were the we were the inspiration. You were the we were catalyst the, for we were it. We were the catalyst, yeah. right. Yeah. That, yeah. That's going to do wonders for us as being like, you know, kind of kind of like the rainmakers. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the it wasn't the years of practice on the range. It was the... It no, it's, the, it's that it one last thing. It's that one last thing. It's it is, like it's yeah. kind of like the lucky socks, you know. You just kind of gotta elevating my confidence this there week. You go. Yeah. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Thank you to everybody for tuning in, for playing along, and hopefully we will see everybody very, very soon.
is Kate. Kate is doing all the cameras. This Hi. is John. He's our uh, audio engineer and uh, streaming engineer, I guess. I'm Mike. I'll be hosting. Hi, Mike. This is Brian. He destroys dreams.